People all over the UK have been worried about a property crash in 2024. So they've been holding off, scared of making a bad investment. But what if I told you there are five cities in the UK where the property market looks insanely strong this year, and actually we plan to invest there ourselves. So if you're looking at investing in 2024, let's take a look at why these cities are so promising and how you can get involved. Now, number one for me, it's a hidden gem. We've been talking about it for years and I've personally been investing there for a long time, but it's never been trendy. It's never captured the imagination of big investors. And I can kind of understand why. There isn't necessarily a huge development plan like some of the other cities on this list, but there is a permanent lack of supply on the market. It has a big student scene, loads of big local employers and fantastic transport links. And if you hadn't guessed by now, I'm talking about Nottingham. It's funny, even though properties have grown more in Nottingham over the last 12 months than anywhere else in the country, according to a property valuation website called HomeTrack, investors continue to overlook it. And although Nottingham prices are unlikely to suddenly explode like London did and Manchester has more recently, based on our figures, Nottingham is somewhere that's worked really well for a long time and will continue to do so. So it's a really solid long-term investment. And one thing I love about Nottingham is that there is an extensive tram network. So if you don't have the budget to buy in the centre or you prefer family homes rather than apartments, basically any investment on the tram line is going to be sound. So it's a great option for all different types of budget. One of the key things that we look for when investing in any area is rents that are going up faster than average, because that suggests that there's not enough supply for the amount of people that are living and moving there, meaning we can take our pick of who to rent to. And of course, as an investor, if rents keep growing, then the return you're making on your investment increases over time too. Another factor we look for is future development plans, because as facilities improve and more employers move in, that of course attracts even more people into the area and will push up house prices over time. And one city that fits both of those criteria is Birmingham. It has the second highest rental inflation in the country at 17.9% compared to a national average of 10%. And Birmingham has a 20 year multi-billion pound development roadmap called the Big City Plan, which will bring 50,000 new jobs to the area and continue the ambitious overhaul of the city center that's already well under way, which will push prices up. So based on those two indicators, we have strong conviction that Birmingham is going to be a really good investment for 2024, but probably many more years to come. However, keep in mind that as rents increase, people will start to move outside the city centre in search of somewhere more affordable. So there will also be strong investment opportunities in surrounding areas with strong transport links into Birmingham, such as Walsall, Wolverhampton and plenty of others. Isaac Newton once said, if I've seen further, it's by standing on the shoulders of giants. And although that might sound a bit abstract and grandiose for property, it is a tactic that we apply to property investing on a regular basis. And this year, we've done it very successfully in the city of Leeds. So what do I mean exactly? Well, if you walk around the city and look up, you'll see that there are loads of cranes on the skyline. But if you do a bit of digging, you'll find out that all these properties are being created for the institutional rental sector and individual investors can't buy them. So on the surface, that might not sound great, but what does it tell us? Well, it tells us that huge pension funds and other professional investors are investing billions of pounds into the construction of huge buildings to rent out, not to sell. In fact, there are 34 separate developments like this, either completed or underway just in Leeds. And I can assure you, they don't invest billions of pounds without doing their research first. In other words, if these huge companies are confident that Leeds is a good investment, it creates great indicator for individual investors as well. And I can see why they picked Leeds. It's the biggest financial centre outside London. Every major bank has got a presence there. It's also a huge fintech centre and was chosen as the site of a government-backed national hub. There's a huge population of young professionals with more than 120,000 financial services jobs and the Bank of England and the Department of Health both have their only hubs outside London located in Leeds. So Leeds is definitely on our list for 2024 and it's well worth you looking at as well. When we look at investing into a city, another key thing that we look out for is the average salary versus the average house price. In other words, how much does the average person in that city earn and how much does the average house in that city sell for? Now, this may sound basic, but a lot of people get this wrong because they focus too much on price. They find a cheap property and think they're getting a bargain. But if that property stays cheap forever, because local wages are low as well, then your investment won't grow. Yet, if prices are affordable in relation to local incomes, 
that means that there's room for prices to grow. And this next city has the highest disposable income of anywhere in the UK and a house price to income ratio of just over six, way below the UK average of 8.1. I'm talking about Derby. We've personally made a couple of major investments in Derby within the last 12 months. And beyond just price, there's a major gap in the market. There's a huge lack of premium rental accommodation in the city a total absence of the shiny new blocks with fancy amenities that you see in cities like Manchester. And exactly the kind of thing that the type of high earning professionals who are based in Derby actually want to live in. So if you can invest in a premium housing development in Derby, you can buy for a reasonable price, charge a premium rent and attract the best tenants. And over time, the price of the property is very likely to increase. And that is why I personally invested in a premium block there last year, as did many of our clients. And we're looking for more deals to do that in 2024 for as well. So there's one point that I want to make really clear. Although this is a list for 2024, as property investors, we're never looking to make a quick buck. It's not like house flipping, where you try to buy low and then sell high a year later. When we consider investing in a city, we're looking at a minimum of a five to 10 year horizon. And the next city on our list has been there for a long time, but the investment case is just as strong as it always has been. And that is Manchester, including Greater Manchester. We've been talking about Manchester since 2015, but every time we look at the figures, they're still really solid. Now the city centre has exploded in popularity in recent years, so purchase prices have increased quite a bit, but the investment still makes sense because rents have also been growing so fast. Remember we mentioned that Bur Birmingham was second on the rental inflation list? Well, guess who is number one? Rents in Manchester have grown faster than anywhere else over the last 12 months at 19.6%. That is virtually double the national average. But why? Well, even though thousands and thousands of new rental units have been built and there are more to come, Clearly, there is still a lack of supply. Otherwise, rents wouldn't be going up as fast as they are. So the city centre still works. But if it's out of your budget or you fancy a different type of property, there's also great potential in Greater Manchester as a whole. As long as you're buying into somewhere that's a desirable area in its own right and has strong transport connections into Manchester city centre, it's likely to benefit from a ripple effect as Manchester continues to grow and people get priced out of the city centre. Last year, we did deals in two Manchester boroughs as well as the city centre. And we're looking to add to that list in 2024. Now, this might sound easy. Just go and invest in Manchester and everything will be fine. Well, no, you can still make a terrible investment in a good location. But how can you tell the difference between the deal of a lifetime and a nightmare property? Well, watch this video next, which will help you make that decision in a matter of minutes.